ASL Challenger League Group Stage Round of 32. And spawning to the top left hand position of Merry Go Round, we have in the very banana yellow our Taiwanese player. He is from Team All In. Function Chen. And down here in the bottom middle of the map, we have our very bio looking green Zerg player. He is yet another Triple T player trying to make something of himself. It is... ACM. So, Ender Sword. Yep. How do you rate ACM's chances? <laughs> um, do you think the clan tag is going to hold him back that much? It might. I, I think the clan tag usually does hold back the triple T. Like, essentially, a triple T member gets through when they have to play another triple T member. And they even get then, through, it's close. Yeah, they get through by like default. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how good he's doing. It's hard to tell because we're rating the new season, so a lot of people are not the rank that they will be in like a week or two. But. Yep. And and Chen, I assume, probably doesn't play on NA if he's Taiwanese, so I can't go by that at all anyway. But ACM is at least showing up as bronze right now. So, so I don't know if that's... Yeah. What you're saying is Function Chen could be like a Grandmaster Taiwanese player. Could easily be. It could be, yeah, Function Chen could just be like a longer way of saying Sen. And oh we would never God. know, and it's just Sen. But right, uh, okay. yeah, who knows? Well, I can uh, however, he is not uh, no, I can definitely confirm he's not grandmaster, and I think we have the same evidence. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's there's literally a circle on the ground, right? And you put uh, it in the circle. I, I yeah, kind of. Yeah, I guess yeah, so. You, there's a circle, and you should put it in the circle. He's not doing that. <laughs> All right, now look. <laughs> Now, that's look. life advice right there. Yeah. That's not StarCraft advice. That's no, that's advice. just everything. If guys, there's a guys, circle, put got it in a problem? the circle. Just put it in the circle. It'll put be it fine. Circle, Don't that's worry. where it goes. <laughs> there's very few games where that's not the case. There's very few things in life where that's not the case. But it's not the circle. But at least this time around, he has he has a do-over. See, the other races, the races that you have to commit to a decision they would have nothing to do about this. They cancel or leave it. He's going to be able to lift this up and move it. But that's if he realizes that he is not in the circle. No, nope. I don't think he realizes he's not in the circle. No, I don't think so. We'll see. I'm beginning to question. Okay, that's actually, actually here's, here's a good one then. Okay. <laughs> Ten t uh, no, I'll do five caster dollars just because I won five. The first person that accepts this bet... And the bet is obviously that at no point in the game does he move the command center into the damn circle. I'm, I'm beginning so somebody to say if okay. it's at the right place. Yeah. No, it definitely uh, can't be. The SCBs are taking far too long to get No, it's, well, it's not in the right place. You can see it. That's not the right place. <laughs> but I'm, I'm genuinely starting to convince myself that's the right place. It's not <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not, but that's it. So who's, who's taking that vote? So it looks like Chaos Reigns, I think, said first that he accepts. So unless I'm reading that wrong, I think he's the one that accepted first. I'll uh, I'll, I'll get Sinister later. We have an interesting kind of setup from a reserve player here. Yeah. Like at first I thought, okay, he's going to be doing like a queen heavy style. Yeah. He's going to be going up to six queens or something like that. It's quite common to defend against Hellion aggression. But he's stopped at three and isn't spreading creep with them or, by the looks of things, injecting. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. He's got no, gas. That, that could have from. queens. He's also got the two extractors that haven't been mined from. Um, yeah. There's a lot of yeah decorative units for our Zerg player so far. Function um, chain is nearly fully rolled off of the front. Yeah, I'm curious because of the distance how many trips these mules will make before they die. <laughs> if it's if it's actually going to lose Probably them the exact same. Minutes. Yeah, we'll see. The one that's on the fire patch already looks like he's lagging behind. 
<laughs> but like yeah, a whole definitely. a whole thing, yeah. Kind of kind of curious. It's I did once cast a game where it was a TBT. Both players were bronze, and other than their original, each of them expanded twice, and none of the bases was in the correct location. <laughs> and they weren't even this close. They were like approximately in the base. Just somewhere in the general vicinity yeah, just of the in the general area of the base. That's so, the best uh, way to play. Yeah, because it actually works out better. Because the more SCVs you put on it, like the more yeah, effective it is. It just, uh, increases your saturation limit. Like your saturation then is not eighteen SCVs; is now thirty-six. And yeah, so many. It's just so much more efficient. So there are some injects coming for ACM now, but he's not uh, like making things or stuff like that. Uh, there it's 20 larvae on the ground. The queens will chase out these hellions, though, so it is good that he has the extra ones. Yep. Uh, two extra. Nearly banking 2k minerals at this point. Yeah. And he has actually connect, uh, connected with creep, so that's a good thing to be doing, too. But yeah, both of them not, uh, not spending a lot. But we get uh, 13 drones coming out for, uh, Search for command ACM. center from Ooh. Shen. I wonder where that'll go. The Ooh. third and fourth base map, uh, <laughs> third and fourth base on this map are really hard because there's no circle to tell you exactly where to put it. Yeah, I know. It's, yeah. it's a shame. But if people genuinely don't know, and I know that we we have people um, here, obviously that are lower leagues and, and stuff, watching and playing, but there's an option in your options to turn on that grid so that oh, you can nice. see like the yellow, green, green, and red area when you put it. And so it will actually tell you exactly where to put your damn thing. Yep, so it's worth it, turning it on. It is. I, I still play with it on. It's. It lets you know if something's a full wall off. It lets you know uh, where to put exact things when it might look a little weird. It's good to have on just all the time. Yep, definitely. Oh. Is that ACV trapped that's in Shane's wall? Let's see. Uh, yeah, he's, well, he is. He could lower the depot, but he's definitely trapped. I don't know you can even get trapped there. Yeah, I think it takes some skill. It would take like the one in four chance that you end up on that corner as you're building yeah. it. Or maybe he put the depot down and then put the SCV in and yeah. raised it. And he's Just there for trackers. like, he's like the sheltered uh, repairer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that could work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you saw things. Elliot's still running around. They, they're still alive. Uh, I mean, they've tried to do some damage to the queens, but they haven't haven't died yet and they're just going to try and prevent some of the creep from going and spreading as fast. Yep. I think he should have brought them home, got them repaired. Oh, yep. he's move he's sorted the command center. Oh, he got it. He got it. He realized he realized it is not in the right place. So, whoever took that, I think it was Chaos gets five caster dollars. It took him <laughs> it took him about 6 7 minutes, but he realized it and it's in the damn circle. Yeah. Wait. No, it's, it's not in a circle, that's a... It is in the circle. It's a Can you not see the circle? Thing. Yeah. There's so like a dotted line circle around the entire thing, and that's where it is. But uh, this attack is going right. on at the third. He's going to deny that from going down. So he doesn't need to be moving the command center back. If he has no, a I, like, oh, wow, his lings and roaches. Yeah, I'm moving everything out here, and uh, the lings will get chewed up, but the roaches are pretty good here. But the marauders will Too definitely... Too many marauders. Yeah. Why is Shen not fighting? He would have lost uh, less if he'd fought. He just doesn't want to. A lot of these roaches, in fairness, are also not fighting. <laughs> it's going to go after the debris as opposed to anything good and just yeah. try and run in. And he's just going to sacrifice the roaches. Excellent. Yeah. So there they go. Uh, but he did kill the destructible debris. And yes. it, would take, it would take something heroic like a depot to repair that damage. <laughs> and uh, we will get a third that's going to try and come down out of ACM, but I think as soon as it gets there, it's going to be attacked. Uh, so yep. they'll have to cancel that quickly. They'll have to cancel. No. Yep. Here comes Chain's Army. Uh, will he get we'll the cancel. cancel off? Let's not get the cancel off. And he's going to lose his whole pack of overlords, too. I think a pack of overlords is referred to as a fleet, isn't it? I think that makes sense to me. Fleet of overlords. Yeah. And a pack of hellbats is definitely called a murder. A murder, yeah. Yeah, the same as a pack of ravens. 
Uh, it's coming in here now. There are some roaches. The queen's doing some injects on this spine crawler, but he's not <laughs> using the roaches at the back. Did you just say the queens were injecting the spine crawler? Or transfusing? Or transfusing the spine crawler. You know what I mean. <laughs> Either way, he's dead. <laughs> I don't dead. exactly what you mean. Yeah, my point is yeah. he's dead. The, oh, no. But these actually come out. Nothing shoots up here, so that's uh, that could work. I think the, yeah, I think the mutas were actually us. killing the hatchery for a second. It will, it will fall, but he'll be able to clean this out. And there we go. So, Shane is now so far ahead, it's, it's not even yeah. funny. Yeah, he's throwing down panic missile turrets in both mineral lines to make sure that this doesn't do any more damage. Or all three mineral lines, actually. Uh, as well as randomly around his base. <laughs> you need to protect so those adverts, just, man. Yeah, so he just doesn't want to do that. These are going to come in the Widow Mines and go away quickly. Well, there go the mutas. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was the end of that. I don't think I've ever seen a flock of mutas die that fast. <laughs> no. Ever. No, there's more. There's more. <coughs> out on the map, uh, there are five mutas still out. Only a handful of links. He's actually not rebuilding the hatchery uh, in the natural. He's rebuilding it over at the farther third base. Um, I think he, yeah, there, there comes the natural again. Doesn't need to get that back down. Uh, he still gets... A drop. Yes. We'll call it a drop. It's only three medivacs. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a little bit of a drop. And uh, there's going to be nothing there really to defend this. So everything kind of could just go down here. Uh, ACM is aggressively trying to get back into this by making three hatcheries at the same time, um, which is not necessarily a bad idea. Uh, but this drop will come in, and I just don't think there's anything to deal with it whatsoever. No. Lings won't deal with this. There's a yeah. Hellbat in there. There's Marines to deal with the Vetas. I think this might... Yep, this is going to be it. So. Yeah, he will uh, clean up the Zerg defending for us and just go to work on everything else. Oh, another Queen popping out. But it's going to do nothing to help. Queen? Yeah, he's just targeting down the lair. That will fall. And he's just out healing all the damage that, that ACM can come up with right now and start going after the tech structures. ACM trying to out expand his way out of trouble. <laughs> if he expands Basically. this whole way around the map, I might yeah. be able to get away from his army. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't think it's going to work like that. Yeah, taking out the spire, and GG, it him does have to tap it. So, function Chen. Spawning to the top right hand side of Habitation Station, we have our yellow Terran from Team All In, it is. Function Chen. Alrighty, and over on the left hand side of the map, we have from the clan Triple T, which means like something about teamwork. It is the green Zerg player. ACM. It's something about teamwork. Yeah, it's something. I think it's terrifying through teamwork. Terrifying team, through teamwork, yeah. Which is never <laughs> true. Nobody's ever even like, look out their, their oh sharing. Oh my god, look at their teamwork. Ah. Ah. Teamwork, so much teamwork. <laughs> That's it. I like this. Aaron, or ACR Aaron saying in chat that he... Uh, he won the first series with the most that I gave him at our last Barcraft, or he won it through a raft. So good stuff. It was one of those Razor Spectre mice that tells you what your APM is. They're hardcore. Oh, nice. uh, get the SEV coming out quickly here for Chen to see what's going on in ACM space, and he is actually going for a pool first, so he'll he'll know what's such again? things. Shen is really really brave, going for a CC first. Yeah. Just given there, especially after it's, scouting the pool first, and especially after like, not placing a CC right the first game. Yeah, 
This time it is in yep. uh, good dimensions. You can see there is no circle even to guide them, but it's it's there. It's there. It's, it's perhaps totally just a temporary it's... glitch from last game. It's I'm but sure. It, <laughs> I'm sure it is. Players, sure it be warned. Just be warned, any players. If you make any kind of mistake like that, <laughs> you, that will become what you're known as. Shane is now known as the command center off center guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This. <laughs> The, the yeah the orbital the orbital off center um, yeah but I think we're like if we're going to be doing that then we need to take a quick mention to Greenbury again from last night who is oh, yeah. building all in man that was us building all in I man loved, I love building all in man I'm, <laughs> I'm, it's too bad we won't yeah I hope we get to see more building all ins by other I, players and we I do have to revisit it. that this weekend we have to bring that replay up. And do the take command and actually make those forces fight each other. That's right. Yeah. Just see, just see how the flying planetary forces is do. We definitely have to do that. I, I wonder if he planned to land the buildings and build out of them. He could to out. actually block and and against Zerg. That's not a bad idea. There's like that famous yeah. game where uh, I think it wasn't against Zerg, but Marine King did that actually to a Protoss. He landed like a factory in a choke point. And then the zealots gonna get through, and he just shot yeah. everything. I remember that because I'm like yeah. the biggest Marine King fanboy. Yeah, that's pretty, <laughs> pretty good. Pretty, pretty good guy. Yeah. Uh, so you get Chen, yes, yeah, starting to mine from uh, both bases, throwing up the old bunker. Um, yeah. ACM not being aggressive, but taking the gold and his natural. Yeah, so he's going to be going for a far more economical play than last game. Last game, he didn't really get above three bases properly. Yeah. Like, sure, at one point he had like six hatches on the map, but that yeah. was panic hatches. Those are, yeah, those are definitely panic hatches. Um, this time, he's looking to be getting drones in all three of these bases as soon as possible. Um, does Shen actually know about that base? No, he doesn't know that the gold's been taken. Yeah, doesn't know it yet. Um, would be good to get ACM. I don't know if he will, but. Uh, throw down a couple lanes or something just at the watchtower so that a single marine won't come in and just happen to see that it's there. You do yep. controlling this watchtower on this map is it's probably one of the most crucial watchtowers. Um, yeah. In it's a map pool. It's effectively yeah. it covers the entire ground approach because nobody really goes the really long way around. Yeah. It's hard to. So if you're not controlling that then well you're not going to know what's happening on the map. And you're playing blind like these players are just now. Like they're kind of relying on their builds to keep them safe. Yeah, that's about to the, yeah, that was oh. opposed to the scouting. Um, ACM has a little more awareness. It's aware that the gold's not taken and stuff. But yeah, no, no real awareness down the middle. As yep. he does saturate his uh, gold base a little bit. Not fully, obviously. Not yet. Like, ACM doesn't even know if there's gas or anything taken from Shem. No. Quite, quite unawares at this point, and there are Hellions coming out yet again. Um, so he's going to probably check the gold. Like that's one of the first yeah, things you do. Think, with well, even if he, it's funny, he's not even going right to the watchtower. Usually, you just check it by, like, if you run at the watchtower, you can see the drones mining. And you can see the creep, and you can well, see the yeah. creep. Yeah, and he's he doesn't have, he's not going to do that. He's just going to sit there. The Overlord's going to see him. He'll do it now. Uh -huh. Now he knows. And, uh, so now he's aware of it. So he could run in there. There's one queen. He's actually making two roaches at the gold. And they are they going to pop in time? Uh, yep. Yeah, well, they are. Yeah, but they're going somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and one alien falls. Uh, I don't. And yep, two one alien falls. And yeah, one drone. One drone, one SCV so far killed per side, and he'll throw down a, a preventative spine. Two of them. Yep. I think this maybe puts Shen in a wee bit of difficulty because he needs to now decide. Well, there we go. He's made the decision. He needed mm -hmm. to decide whether to yeah, expand try to kill him or to yeah. expand and be behind. He's opted to expand and be behind, which I don't know. It's kind of the decision I would make rather than attack because you don't have the infrastructure yet to attack. Yeah. So I'm glad he's made that decision. Yeah, I think it's it's right here to do that. Because, uh, yeah, he just wasn't set up for it. None of his key tech is done. Oh, getting Hellions into the main. Oh. 
Yeah, they do uh, run on in. There is still a queen up there. The drone's trying to escape. Don't lighten it up. Roaches it pop up at a good time, but uh, will these oh get roasted? My God. A few of them do definitely go down. Mm -hmm. and so cleans it up, but uh, seven, six more kills, I guess, on that attack. But it could have been worse. That could have been a lot worse since they did. Yeah. The Hellions could have killed every single one of those drones. Yeah. If yeah. he'd just gone down to the other side of the creep, the Queen would have had to come all the way over to get him, and he gets an extra two shots off, and has more Hellions alive, basically. Yeah, definitely, so, uh, just, I'm sure here. Drones and SCVs, just about equal, actually, a slight lead for the SCVs at the moment after those kills, but uh, a lot of larvae still sitting on the ground. Um, to be used up, and it looks like he's putting it into roaches, getting the roach Lucky. speed, getting the burrow. So it's going to be some kind of subterranean assault? Yeah, actually, yeah, t <laughs> tunneling claws, sorry, not the speed. This is interesting, actually. I really, really like this. Yeah, it's um, going to be roach hydra. I don't think we've seen this before in ASL or roach burrow timing, have we? No, I don't. I don't not even so. in the first season. Yeah. So, it's an ASL first. It's still a little ASL. hard because, of course, this is a full wall right now by Chen. But, uh. He just so he goes under it. Yeah. I, and then to the main. <laughs> yeah. He'll fly. That's going to be awesome. Let's see what he does. He will know uh, that this command center is moving over to the goal. Oh, Hellbat drops. Oh, and he's actually going to see that the Hellbats are coming. Will he respond to this? There's a nice spore positioning spore. Uh, right next to it. But the Hellbats are still going to get yeah, out. Yeah, they? they're going to get out, but they will drop in the range of one of these spines at least. Clean will fall, but the uh, Medivac falls with two oh. Hellbats in it. And nice. all that's cleaned up once again relatively well. Six more drones did die because Hellbats are ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but still, that's uh, that's a good pickup to get the two medevacs there. Well, here come the roaches. No. They are chilling in the corner. Let's see if they bottle. Yeah, curious. If if I was in his shoes, I'd probably want to pop up to that gold once the hydras are there. And oh, he's in a really he bad position if the ten engages here. Not, not a great one. Um, should probably make some use of that burrow at the moment. The Hydras are, though, using Los Elvis as a distraction. No, nope, now they're not. <laughs> just the the bio is just shredding Roach Hydra. Although yeah. it's now with the extra Hydras. Yeah, with the, all the Hydras, there's no healing for the bio. If there are a couple of medevacs there, then I think the bio takes it hands down, but they both do both retreat, and the Hydras will now go uh, directly for that Orville Command. And it's dead. There is no yeah. repair going down on it. Yeah, they're not repairing it. They'll just be able to straight up pick it up. Oh, and almost got the medevacs almost that were mis rally. The Terran army's kind of... I don't know what it's doing. It's like single filing across the map, stemming up after these. But that's not right. enough. Oh, it so, nearly was. It nearly yeah, moved commander. Yeah, the move commander. And uh, again, they're kind of single filing. He's bringing like six units. Now there come the rest. But... Uh, those hydras got to get out of there, otherwise they're kind of trapped. He's not going to fly these medevacs straight over hydras, uh, is he? Totally, totally would have. <laughs> That's the, so close. I think he could just attack. He must see that the medevacs were doing that, and he could just attack the front, yeah. and that's exactly what he's going to do. Well, he's not got any roaches with these hydras. Yeah, it's true. Just pure DPS, not a lot of tanking, but I think it might be plenty. Perhaps. The Terran, Terran Force is uh, dropping over by the non-gold third. They'll run into a few roaches as the Hydras do come up into the natural base of Chen. And uh, yeah, these roaches not really stopping this force, but providing enough of a delay for some more to come out. Yep, I'm just going to target the Marauder down. Yeah, Hydras now... They were trying to target that CC, won't quite get it with the repair, but uh, we'll now clean up the remainder of these forces and I think just go after SCVs and the orbital once again, which is now not repairing. Yep, and, and it's going to die. Game. Yeah, I, I, I think so. So, this game is going to go to 1-1. Yeah. This series, rather. 
Yeah, it looks so like if the medevac me. trying to come back with a few units, I think it's just gonna die. Yeah, it dies yeah. before it drops even. He's right on top of the production facilities. There's about, uh, when we got there, like 11 more roaches coming in to just buffer for all this stuff. And that'll be yeah. it. The SCV's even coming off the line, even though there's units out. Yeah, there's hiders are just us. ridiculous damage if you... They're really high DPS units. And they'll yep. plow through things like this. As long as they have a little bit of tanking, they're fine. And uh, that's yep. going to be all she wrote this game. Yeah, that will be it. We're down to only 28 supply for uh, Chen to 85. Chen just called GG as Ling's coming to join. And yeah, we're going. Okay, so we are on the map. It is Star Station. Our yellow player spawning to the top left hand of the map. Currently at 1-1, this is the deciding match to decide who goes on to the winner's match. It is from Team All In. Function 10. And down on the bottom right-hand side of the map, we have the green Zerg player who is absolutely terrifying us all through his teamwork. It is... ACM. All right, and uh, I will take the bet that that AG McLeod, also known as ACI Aaron, just put out. I will bet five caster dollars that ACM will not win. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but I would. I think Shane will probably win this game, but I think he'll adapt and, and win. But he's going to I, CC first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think he's the adapting type, to be honest. Yeah. Because Asium has done different things in both games. Hmm. We'll need to see if he decides to do something creative. Because Shane is just playing the exact same. Yeah, he's playing the same way. I mean, yeah, we have ACM not going cool. For, mm -hmm. Yeah, he could. Yeah, he could attack first, knowing that he's done the CC first. But he's doing yeah. almost almost the opposite this time around. And maybe he feels well. The first game, I tried to be aggressive. It didn't work. The second game, I made a bigger economy, and that did work. So maybe I want to do that. So uh, yeah, yeah. So I so Possible. I guess that's the thing. We can only hope. So barracks supplied, uh, barracks gas coming down for Shen. Spawning pool nearly done for Asium. So this is just going to be kind of a standard setup, really, for the players. Yeah, pretty, pretty much uh, on this. I kind of hope when Asium's overlord gets there and, and sees what's going on, that he just takes a third. Right away. Yes. Um, yeah, it definitely makes sense. I think he would benefit from that because he did, given the uh, larva that he had last time, was able to make something happen with it. Oh. Got the queens out and on the way now. Just starting to mind gas is our Zerg player. Yeah. So. Taren throwing down the bunker. And will likely be thrown down a factory very shortly as well, now that he does have the 100 gas. And here it comes. Yep. So, once again, Shane is just doing this normal... Yeah. Uh, marine Hellion. Yeah, oh, sorry, not Marine Hellion. What am I talking about? Yeah, just Hellion, basically. Hellions. <laughs> <laughs> just basically Hellion. Yeah, he's not coming out with the Reaper that you often see in uh, TVZs where you get like two or three Reapers out, kind of harass a little bit, and then bring the two or three Reapers with the Hellions yeah, um, that's... to do it. But uh, So we're not seeing that, but we are seeing just the Hellions. And he got a bit of damage done with them last time, but not as much, I think, as he wanted. In a pro game, 
it would be considered a lot of damage. He got like six kills each time, but yeah. in this uh, at this level, it's not as crucial. Definitely, um, yeah, yeah. We do have the third base, yeah. as you said, coming down for Asian, which is a really, really good decision. Yeah, I think that's uh, great. So long as he keeps his injects up and keeps making drones, it will mm -hmm. definitely pay off for him in this game. Yeah, his, uh, yep. his drone count's already looking reasonably healthy. Um, he does have a lot of money saved up, though, and he's not using the, uh, using the larva, but that's because, actually, despite me saying he doesn't tend to supply block himself, he is right now really badly. <laughs> so uh, he's gotta gotta work that out, and there's no overlords building either. So he's gotta make like a three or Ten. four. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's if you know you. Yeah, Zerg's one of the ones. If you know you're doing that, just do it. Just make a bunch. <laughs> or just make I, one pair of units. Like yeah, that's what that's what you should do. It's when I learned about like supply blocking, it was always a. Um, People always said, whenever you spend supplies, check your supply number. So if you're making a yep. unit, you're making a worker, you're whatever, just you know you're spending it. Look at your supply number and see whether you need to. Mm. And just make that a habit, and you'll find yourself not doing it nearly as much. Yeah, uh, and it's going to expire the right away. The wall for function shade is fairly solid. Yeah. That's, uh, supply yeah, that's a big... It's a big ass wall. Does <laughs> yeah. he expect the baneling bust? I I don't I don't know what he expects, but I don't think he expects a full on muta rush, which is what we're getting. Yeah. So although he's not yet made a yeah. gas. Is that too? Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, he's he's not getting enough and that will hurt him down the line here. But uh Hellion's going to work on this third base. A queen will pop out, and I think it's going to be hung out to dry there. Yep, yeah, although he's not targeting with the Hellions. Yeah, yeah, yep, there, there we go. Now. Trying to get the damaged one. There's nothing really that can move out to protect the third right now, but he is smartly got three queens gathered on the ramp. He's got the spine crawler there uh, to defend. So he's going to make sure there's no big run by, but he may, he may just be outright conceding this third, or hoping to get like these two mutas that are coming out in time. <laughs> I know. These two mutas will save the day against six aliens. I guess. <laughs> go, yeah. mutas, go! Dun, 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 dun. Oh, wait, the mutas aren't even rallied. Oh, no, they're just sitting there. <laughs> so, is that a rally point? He's yeah. not building anymore, either. He's, he's not building anything. He's got a lot of... Uh, a lot he's of got resources 18, banked. Yeah, 18 larva. He's not using it. Um, needs to. Wow, 36 links. Yeah, 36. Okay, so that's the thing that he's doing. Oh. <laughs> the Brood Broodlin's going to town on these Hellions. Now, Shen seems to have quite a lot of units trapped in his main. Yeah, this Just is... to the top right. Yeah, this uh, is unfortunate. He's got a turret in his main. Nothing currently is natural. Um... Know what'll happen here? Are these links gonna find the Hellions that are slightly to your left? Nope, not yet. No, he's not gonna find them. No. Where are the mutas? The mutas are just sitting where they were they born. Were out. <laughs> yeah. And those gonna... mutas sitting up at the back of the main as well. Yeah. Yeah, they're just hmm. gonna just gonna hang out for the time being. If you're gonna rush to something, use it as soon as you yeah. get it, or else you shouldn't have rushed to it. That's another good like general rule. Will he surround all these Hellions? I think he will. Yep. Yeah. So they futilely yep. attempt to escape. Uh, I think he should try and retake the third. Uh, yeah, he needs to take a third and a fourth just now. No. Because if okay. he just tries to walk in with that amount of lings, he's going to get yeah. a very... Oh, how yeah. many supply depots are there in that wall? Uh, way too many, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, that that ling force gets cleaned up. And here's the thing: right now is there's mutas out, but uh, he doesn't want to deal with this group of marines coming across the map. And if they just kind of fly over it, like he's really got no nothing to deal with this. Yep, losing that overseer as well. That's yeah. 
Because there are there's 15 mutas, and that's great, but he wants to really be harassing with them, and it looks like he's almost going to set up to... Base trade? Uh, yeah, like just base trade against them and get on top of his production and see what he can do. But this, uh, this Terran Bioforce is no joke. Yep, and here we go. Yep. The base race is on. Yeah, and the mutas going to town on these uh, marine reinforcements, going after the medevacs and are going to have to get in this mineral line before all these turrets come out. I think well, two of them will finish like though. Two of them are going to finish. He no. needs to repair them instantly. No. Nope. Yeah. Just going to let it die. Second one. Why are you repairing the command die? center? Yeah, in the meantime, this bioforce is just wrecking everything. Yep, it's highly likely that all the base, the structures yeah. will be dead before... Yeah, I don't, I don't see any way that these mutas are going to do enough damage. Yeah. Uh, he's walled, he's er, slightly outside his command center, but he's got five turrets sitting there. These mutas can't do anything against that. And even though they've done a lot of damage, there's just no way to stop the Terran force. Yep. So that will be it for this game. Yeah, I think so. It'll just take him a moment to uh, realize that. Terran force has taken a break. Uh, briefly. <laughs> just chilling. Going after the other creeps. stuff, yeah. I'll try and go right after the orbital. Which will <laughs> attempt to fly away. Uh, it's not going to get away, but it doesn't matter. No, totally totally not going to get away. Um, still get one <laughs> tree up for ACM, but he's not, not building anything there. He's got tons of money, too. But he's not, not doing anything. Well, the, um, there's nothing he can do to yeah, get Yeah, there's this nothing game. he can. Yeah, he's down to just, just this. He's at 18 supply. It's really just these mutas, which can't get into the main. Even two widow mines burrowing. Just the marines themselves could walk out and clean that up now. Yeah, easily. Easily they can. So, yeah, he is, uh, he is out of it. He's just going to realize that he has lost the base that he put down in the middle. He's trying to rebuild another one, and yeah, it does tap yeah, out here, so ATM is tapping out, and Chen will go on to the winner's match against...